anything interesting here? I doubt it. the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength and then... Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. The Supreme Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellaron. 
We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Kakolian. In order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? on the back thank you I can't even imagine what you've been through up there I'm just glad everything turned out all right oh, what about Zila don't worry she's all right it took a big toll on Branya so Zila took her over to the guards oh good I'm so glad you're all okay now that Kokolia is no more I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Hmm. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Those kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. Hook does always talk about wanting to go on a Rivet Town adventure. Ugh, this could be bad. Time back? Just to play hide and seek? It's too dangerous. 
Miss March, uh, didn't you go back to the surface? <laughs> Since when did I become Miss March? And where's Hook and the others? Come on, call them over. Uh, we just started playing. Uh, can't we finish this round first? Great idea. Shame we don't have any. Well, we better go and find them. Uh, actually, I sort of want to go play on the swings for a while. I'll leave the seeking to you guys. on Julian, that traitor. Where's his integrity? What about your integrity, huh? You brought the other kids out here to Rivet Town, didn't you? I... I did not! The moles hold a vote on all our expedition destinations. Ah, oh, you snitch! You'll regret it. I'm warning you. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Let's go and find Julian. Hide and seek update. Astral Express Crew 2, the Mole Zero. Hm. Celebrate while you can. Hide and seek is best at five, you know. Anyway, enough about hide and seek. You came all this way to tell the mole something, so spit it out. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Today, you are the mole's number one rivals! Rivals? Why the heck are we rivals now? What are you talking about? Hook and Julian always wanted to defeat the villains on the surface and take back our homeland. But it sounds like you grown-ups just stole their thunder, so... You think we're gonna accept defeat just like that? One day, the moles will be the heroes of the underworld and the overworld! Then everyone will sit and... Uh, sit and, um... Sit up and take notice, right? Uh, yeah! Sit up and take notice! <laughs> uh, I would have figured it out myself. I didn't need you to remind me. So that's why you were so silent. Hmm, if you want to be as awesome as us, you better start training every day. And start listening to Natasha. Training every day? Listening to the old witch? Will that really make us as awesome as you guys? <laughs> In that case, deal! <laughs> Julian, Alina, let's run back to the town. Training starts today. <laughs> yes, boss. Understood. Uh, Alina... I can, uh, give you a piggyback if you can't make it.
Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Can you see the stars from here, too? Everyone all right? Thanks for your help. devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a moment? I have a favor. Something rather personal. Don't let them get ahead of you. Outsiders, for friends of Clara. The, 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 thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are friends of Clara. Follow me.
visitors, Clara. Ah, oh, it's the variables. Are you trying to start another fight? There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparrow said it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but, but now... Mr. Sparrow, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. That's our Branya! Quick as a flash! <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! Can you see the stars from here, too? You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? <sighs> I don't know how much of a celebration will be happening. <laughs> But I know Hook and Clara will be pleased to sit with you. For Oleg and I, 
Not to mention the other adults. Reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh, return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <sighs> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> If you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you! The Liberators of the Underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Oh, uh, I'm afraid you might have to make an exception, miss. My license has expired, but then I haven't had the chance to go up and renew it for ten years now. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? <laughs> no problem! This car won't be leaving without you! Mommy, what do children in the overworld dress like? Mommy doesn't know either, sweetie. The overworld is different from here. Their fashion is always changing. I don't know what's popular these days. Then, will other children laugh at me when we go up? Don't be silly. That won't happen. Mommy's gonna buy you some pretty new clothes as soon as we're on the surface. <laughs> Deal! Thanks, Mommy. rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. Mm. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. Uh, we've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! <gasps> 
Sasha. My Sasha, is that you? Dad! By the Ember Lord, I thought I was never going to see you again. Praise the preservation, my child! Praise their leniency. And who's this little one? Here, Barry. Say hello to Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa. My grandson? Is this my grandson? <sighs> Sorry, Dad. I wanted to introduce you to my husband, too. But he can't get away from the publisher today. That's okay, my child. We've come all the time in the... Did you say publisher?
Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet. <laughs> the architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the restricted zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. <laughs> 